We start tonight with a midday murder, which leaves a school on lockdown and police on the hunt for the suspect. I'm Jim Dunaway. And I'm Sherry Jackson. This happened around 2 o'clock this afternoon in an area where police say there were plenty of witnesses. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff joins us at that scene right now. Jamie? Well, in the past hour, we have learned the victim's name, Sherry. Her name is Gwendolyn Ayers. She was 28 years old, and she was shot over on this street corner in broad daylight. Now, police say a gold car pulled up to her. Again, this was around 2 o'clock this afternoon. They say Ayers argued with whoever was inside that car until someone inside the car shot her and drove away. Now, all of this unfolded about a block away from an elementary school. That was the Princeton Alternative School. That school was placed on lockdown until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. But well after that, some of Gwendolyn's friends stayed on the scene. Gwen don't bother nobody. That girl was a love person, giving person. Stop the violence. Yeah, I need to get y'all life together. Y'all need to pray. Y'all need to get with God. Y'all need to get y'all salvation to God. Now, police say they have been talking to plenty of witnesses, but they don't have any description better, uh, any better description for that getaway car other than the fact that it was gold. Now, they also believe that the shooter was a man, yet they are not sure whether or not there was anyone in the car with him at the time the shots were fired. So a lot more questions here to get answered. We've been in touch with police all evening. As soon as they give us more information, we will give it to you. Stay with us on air and online at WIAT.com. We are live in Birmingham this evening. Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.